Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to convert an halogen overhead projector to a LED overhead projector. To do this convention, I'm gonna use the LED module I did in a previous tutorial, you can watch on our YouTube channel. So this is a 100 watts and 12,000 lumens LED module. So what you're gonna need for this, a power supply, a pencil, a ruler, a pliers, I have another one smaller just in case, a key of uh, seven, a drill, and some bolt and nuts of, uh, we are using M4 for this LED module. I'm just gonna at first have a look at my uh, projector I have to convert. This is one, we already did few modifications on it so it doesn't have an halogen lamp anymore, but I will just open it and explain a little bit what we did so you're not lost in this modification. I just remove the lens head. I remove this port. There is no halogen lamp anymore, but basically what we did is very simple. You have an halogen lamp, you have a mirror and some wires going out of it. So you just have to unplug everything which is connected to the, to the lamp and everything. Uh, most of the time on this kind of projector you have uh, some connectors, I don't know the name, but which are connected to the power supply and it's easy to unplug them and just put it out. We are still using the main wire to power this, this existing fan inside the projector. It's very useful to get the heat out of the projector because uh, the LED we are going to put in it can create some, uh, some heat. Let's say we have removed all our halogen lamp uh, the existing one inside the overhead projector. Now we want to just add our LED module inside of it. So we have to put it in a very special position, which is not flexible at all. You have to put it at the exact same position as the halogen lamp was. So you have to take the measurement with your ruler before you put the halogen out. You have just to verify at which height the lamp is and in my case with this projector i remember it was 9.6 and i really have to put the yellow surface on of the led at this exact height so it's gonna just distribute the light to the fresnel lens and uh, all the lenses of the projector correctly if you do a mistake uh, even by one or two millimeters it's, gonna, it's still gonna work, but you will see on the projection square of the image you are gonna project, it's not gonna be even and bright all around and white. It's gonna be a little bit yellow and blue on the sides. We are gonna try to put this at the exact uh, height. And thanks to the screw we have and the bolt and nuts, we are gonna be able to do that. So we can measure and just tight a little bit more if we want to have it uh, higher or lower. So at the bottom, I have to take the exact center of uh, the projector. So I take the measurement between my uh, different screws. 7.15, usually it's a square, so. What you need to do if you want to put your LED module at the exact same position where the halogen lamp was, uh, you have to find the exact center in the two axes. To do that, I have made myself a little piece of paper, which is the exact position of my uh, four screws. So it's uh, this way, it's easier to determine the position inside the overhead projector at the bottom where I need to drill the holes. I put it at the center. I did a little hole inside the paper so I can just find my, I can just make it match my other point which is at the, at the bottom. Be careful to also do not squeeze it in diagonal and just stay very squared and parallel to the sides or the image will be deformed later and it's not going to be uniform any heaven. And I will do four little points with my pencil where to drill the holes after. I can now drill four holes inside of it. So let's go. Now I'm going to need to unscrew few screws in my LED module. In our case, what we did previously, it's going to put down the DC to DC booster, but we are just going to put it back after when it's inside. 
So because everything is uh, separated, I'm gonna fix at first these two, which are independent from uh, CDC to DC booster, which is on this side. So I'm just gonna fix that. This is going in, and you can maybe want, maybe you will wonder uh, which orientation you have to give to your LED module inside your for overhead projector. Basically, the, ori the orientation you're gonna give is gonna be the same because it's a square, so it doesn't matter optically, but it will matter uh, because of the size of your heat sink, its shape, its, if it's a square or a rectangle. It even exists in a cylinder. And in my case, I have my uh, DC to DC booster, which is going on the side. So I need uh, this free space. So here you can see I have the existing fan of the projector. So I, uh, I can't go there and I can go on the other way because there is a power supply. So I need to put my uh, DC to DC booster to, right, to the right or to the left. So I'm just gonna put it to the right, but to the left it's possible also, but there is less space. So I'm just gonna go where it's easier to walk. So I'm gonna put my LED module like that. I'm just gonna start by putting the screws from the bottom and tight them, and then I will be able to just plug it inside. So let's go. So I had four nuts on my screws, so it's gonna stop the LED module of going too, too low. Okay, so now I'm going inside and I'm adding at first my DC to DC booster and then I'm gonna plug the LED module which goes after it on the screw. So then I can add my four nuts and then we're gonna be able to set up the good eight for it. At which eight are you? are we right now 9 point I try to keep my LED module as flat as possible because if it's a little bit uh, leaning on the side it's not gonna be even for the image projection all right now every screw of my um, LED module are tight so it's right in its position at the perfect center and at the exact eight uh, where the halogen lamp was. So now I'm okay to go some maybe uh, power tests before I close everything just to see if the light is going out of the LEDs because maybe we move the wire, I don't know, so I have to, to check that. And then we will be able to do some tests with the uh, Fresnel lens and all the opticals. So we just verify the alignment was uh, well made or not. And if it's not, we are gonna adjust a little bit the sides or eight with the four screws. So when you just power up your LED module, uh, it's very powerful, keep that in mind and do not look at it directly or you will get a burn in the eye. So just be careful to look away or put sunglasses or special protection glasses, but me, I just lean a little bit so I don't watch it directly. I just need to be sure it's emitting light, so I will just look somewhere else. So yeah, it's still emitting light, so everything is okay. I can unplug it. So now I can uh, put back my uh, Fresnel lens, this uh, top part of the projector. And this is a moment to talk to you about what we did on this projector. So you can see there is a wooden part. We had it to, the, to this part of the projector. It's basically just to modify the height. It looks very complicated, but it's just four pieces of wood putting it up. Uh, because this LED module we have, and the previous one we put, it was uh, way higher than the position of the halogen lamp. Each overhead projector is each brand is very different, so in some of them you have the halogen lamp which is at the exact bottom of the projector. So in, the, in this case, for example, our LED module, uh, you see it's uh, 10 centimeters high, so if the halogen lamp was at the very bottom of the projector, we don't have the right distance. We don't have the room to put our LED module and to have the exact same height. So that's why 
we had to uh, go up with uh, these wooden pieces. But in some overhead projector, you do not need to do that. If you're able to put your LED module and your LED cob at the right position, uh, you do not need to, to rise that up. But uh, with this model, which was a Kinderman, we needed to do that. Uh, now we are also developing and doing research about uh, really flat LED modules. So you, are n you do not need to do that and you have the possibility to, very, to put your uh, LED module at the very bottom of the projector. So let's just put that back. And maybe you also guessed if we put that at five centimeters higher, you also need to put that at five centimeters higher because the distance between the lens and the of the optical lens and the Fresnel lens are made together. So because we added five centimeters here, we also added five centimeters here, but not on the iron stick, but we just put some pieces of wood at the bottom of the hole where you put that. So it's going higher. So I just put that back. And this is where I just uh, do another projection test to see if my uh, LED was put at the right position and the right height. So we are just going to move one camera so you can see the projection beam we are going to do on the wall uh, in front of me. So let's power it up. And I'm just going to adjust the projection on the screen. I'm pretty happy with my projection square. It's a little bit darker on the edges, like at the bottom, like I said. So I have a little bit of adjustment to do to have a perfectly even high image. And the adjustment could be on one of the four screws I have uh, under. So I will have to open it again and adjust a little bit and put it back. Uh, let's see with the visual, if I, uh, if I had a visual for my projection. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. The image is okay if I do the focus. So that was a conversion to LED of a halogen projector. So let's see you in uh, further tutorials. Thank you for watching this video. As you've seen, there are many things to improve, create or remix. So please feel free to participate to the community. You can follow us on Instagram, you can go on our website visiofar.org where we have a lot of documentation and blueprints we share for free to help you build your own overhead projector or convert your original one with LED. Feel free also to go on the forum of Visiofar to share your builds, ask your questions, share your ideas and together I'm sure we can improve a lot the possibilities of this fascinating machine. Thank you and see you soon. Thank you.